tool and look at what the pen tool can do for you. Some of the good things about the pen tool is it can be used to select items. So here's a picture I've loaded up, one of a mug. I'm going to use the pen tool to cut a path around this mug using everything that I've learned before. So click and I drag upwards to get this curve right. It's not gonna be brilliant because it's a quick tutorial, but I want to go down, so I hold down Alt, go to that point, click and hold down the mouse button, straight line. Now I want the curve to go out to the right, so I hold down the Alt key. There you go, out it goes. And let's bring that back to there, click and drag, gonna have to do some messing around there. Want it to go straight down, so Alt, hold it down. Click straight line, click and drag downwards, get this curve, click and drag that way. There you go, and then just click. Okay, now using my tools here, the path selection tool and the direct selection tool, I can rearrange and change the handles. So, yeah, perhaps I need to go like that. Click on that one. Bring that one in a bit. See, that's getting around it. For this one, let's drag that handle out a bit more. Pull this one in. There you go, perhaps go down a bit. Okay. It's really useful on shapes that don't have such a clear uh, outline. There you go. Now, once I've got my path selected, I haven't selected that white bit, but we'll leave that for the time being. Once you've got a path selected, you've got options here to quite easily look, load path as a selection. My army of ants are now around it. I could control C and copy it, control V, and I've got a brand new layer of just the mug itself a presto uh, i'm going to get rid of that layer don't need it it's just for demonstration load up my mug load up my actual selection and uh, let's see what this option does add layer mask click on that twice hey presto it's made a mask of the mug so i've still got the white pixels behind we've learned all about masks before don't want to do that so i'm just going to undo that step backwards and step backwards again. What else can I do? Got the path selected. I've got this option here, which is to stroke path with the brush. What a stroke does is draw uh, a line on your, or stroke it on your actual path. There you go. You can see it's picked up the green color. Hey, presto. Don't want that though. I'm just demonstrating it. So let's undo that. The other option, what's this one? Fill. Oh, it's filled it. Brilliant. So lots of different tools that you can play around with. Really good for uh, doing selections that you can then use to make masks. And very good for any objects where there's not a, a clear contrast between the uh, shape and the thing that you're extracting it from. Going to hide that out and look at the other option of a tool. Let's get rid of that. Now, this shape here just so happens to be uh, shape one and we can drag it around. It's a vector option and I can use my pointer tools to play around with it because any of the shapes that you create in Photoshop are actually vectors. So you can use the direct selections and the path tool to move it around. You can add additional points using the pen tool that I showed you before. And so add a point. Come on, let me select the point. And I can mess them up once I've got them created. So I can use any of the shape tools. Here's an ellipse, look. And they've got points too. So again, I can manipulate it, change it. Yep, look, it's no longer a shape. I can use my delete anchor point to get rid of points, same as before. Now you can actually draw your own shapes nice and easy using the pen tool. How you do it, you select the pen tool. You go up to the options at the very top. It automatically defaults to path. You wanna change that to shape. 
you've got two options, which is the fill, what color do you want it filled with? And the stroke is the outline color. So currently it's set to black. If you don't want an outline, I can click no color there. If you do have an outline, this option here controls the thickness of it and you can actually control the style. So if I wanted a dotted path, so quite easy. Click, 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 click. And there you go. I've got a shape or click and drag using my curves. And I've got weird vector shapes. Let's see if I can try and make a, an, a, an ellipse. Click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. Not going to be the best one. But you can see the idea there. The great thing is, because it's a vector object, if I want to change the way it looks, I want a red fill, perhaps I want a different color, I want a blue outline, I can do that nice and easy. The great thing about vector shapes is you can move them around, they scale and they don't lose uh, the detail when you transform them, control and T, so they keep their lines. So that's it for pencils, go have fun and I'm sure I will see you soon. Thanks very much.